everyone uh, in this short video I would like to show you uh, the upcoming editing features that we added to smash so um, I'm gonna start showing you um, that I have a couple of layers here uh, you should know that it's possible to edit only um, geo package uh, vector layers and so I made a very very simple polygon layer, a simple line layer, and a simple point layer. Um, and uh, these are visualized here, as you might know, uh, you can show labels on point layers, but it's not there yet on different types, on the other types of layers. So here we have a line, a couple of polygons, and a point. So how does editing work? Uh, first off, uh, you might notice that this is a bit particular version of smash and i'm cheating here because this is the desktop version of smash for mac os because the nice thing that i really love about flutter is that slowly also the desktop versions will be compiled for the applications and smash i i'm already using it a lot for testing and as you can see, there's the GPS icon missing because my macOS doesn't have a GPS, but um, I think with not this release, but the next one, we will also throw out a macOS desktop and a Linux desktop version of Smash, just to see how the community reacts. Anyways, we are here to check out how editing works. Well, you have, uh, since the last version, you have this small icon here, and when you click on it or tap on it, you will just see the, the, a new toolbar. And here we have to uh, <laughs> to the, we have the measure distance, for example. And uh, the new icon that you will find is the modify geometry, it's the editing. If you enable the editing tool, then once you long tap somewhere, it will select the feature that lies either below the tap or in a very near surrounding all right so as you can see editing enables with uh, drag handlers on all the nodes and in the middle um, additional handlers let's say so if you want to expand this polygon you could just drag something like this and at any time you can cancel by using this last icon. We added a uh, cancel by long tab because we don't want to, it to be done by accident to lose a lot of work. So if you long tab, it will just get out of editing and you just click on it again and it will just re-enable it. If you save, which is the second, it will get out of editing, but it will have saved your feature so let's get back here um, and let me show you this how do you remove uh, notes you just long tap on them and they will disappear the same goes for the other types of geometries but before we have a look at them uh, how would adding a new geometry work um, we, uh, for simplicity, we just decided that once you long tap outside, the feature gets deselected, but if nothing's selected and you just tap somewhere, it will ask you uh, where, in which layer you want to put the new feature, because selection goes on all layers, just what lies below and is the nearest. And Adding a new feature clearly um, needs to uh, understand where, uh, the, where your new um, geometry has to be placed and what type of geometry it is. So let's add a new polygon and it will add a small three points polygon in your topping position and you will just have then to drag it around. You can just save it and that's how you create a new polygon. If you want to change, modify your attributes table, the same in the toolbar, you have a button for the attribute tables and you just click on it and put 
when you building it there. And that's it. The same as we said goes for lines and the good thing you can still wander around and tap it it doesn't disturb editing and you can zoom in and zoom out um, let's say we made this wrong so we want to have this right here and remove these points and just save that then we want to add a new line and put in selection mode and let's just start here and something like that and let's just put it like that and save it again so it's quite simple to create new features and also modify the attribute tables same goes for points clearly you can move them around or you can add a new point uh, once it's added everything that is nullable uh, the, the attribute table is set to null so in this case it doesn't show the label but you can just get in here and say new point and once you do that you will also have your label and you can move it inside your new building i think this is more or less everything oh no maybe um uh, yes you can just delete the selected features by just clicking on this other removing icon and that's really all i think um looking forward to this new release with editing i think many people are waiting for it uh, let's see how that one works out thank you very much for watching uh, see ya